Hey, you don't know what it is. Welcome to the Really? The Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup? Wow. Well done, guys. Heavyweight championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a few moments ago on Monday Night Raw, Titus O'Neil was coming out to the ring for the matchup when he was attacked from behind by the United States champion, Rusev Byron. Keep in mind, Rusev defends his... I knew it was going to happen anyways. Like... Titus O'Neil the Money in the Bank event. Yeah, I think the intent here from Rusev was very clear. Either take away any opportunity for Titus to be 100% I think it's very clear. And that's assuming that Titus even faces the Money in the Bank this Sunday. And then the accolade, the devastating submission maneuver, locked in by Rusev. At this point, I think Titus O'Neil was knocked out cold after a kick to the back of the head. And John, this is a statement that has been sent by Rusev, the United States champion, and Titus O'Neil for their match on Sunday. Yeah, look, I know Rusev has a funny way of showing him this is a matter of respect. This is Rusev saying, I respect Titus O'Neil. I'm worried and concerned about him taking the U.S. championship, and here's what I'm going to do to alleviate those concerns. Titus O'Neil better be focused yeah. on Sunday. Are you guys ready for a shield reunion? I'm ready. This should be hashtag shield reunion now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dean This is going to be amazing. If you want to talk about this huge event on social media, we ask you to use the hashtag Ambrose Asylum because the Ambrose Asylum returns with your host, really? Dean Ambrose, welcoming two very special guests, oh, well. the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns, the challenger for his title on Sunday, Seth Rollins, all three former members of one of the most devastating groups in WWE history, The Shield. Yeah, you talk about a historic group. People argued whether DX or NWO, the Four Horsemen, the Freebirds, or The Shield were the most dominant faction. But even to be put in that category says something about the force of this group. popular demand. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ambrose Asylum. Mm, that's actually a really good nice name. They say WrestleMania only happens once a year, so I don't know if I just woke up from a coma or if I'm in some kind of a time warp or something. Because for me, Money in the Bank this Sunday feels like a whole nother WrestleMania. I mean... We got a money in the money in the bank contract ladder match with the most loaded field that I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in it. And we got two matches that could easily main event a WrestleMania. One of those matches is what I want to talk about tonight. A very interesting matchup. Two years in the making. Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns. Questions are going to get answered this Sunday. Can John Cena hang with the new era? Will Charlotte ever be the same without Ric Flair? What does Chris Jericho sound like when he falls off of a ladder? Who's better, Roman or Seth? A lot of questions are going to get answered this <laughs> Sunday. Money in the bank, but that's in Las Vegas, Nevada. And tonight, we're right here in New Orleans. Wait a minute, did you see Scarecrow beat? So let's get right down I mean, to business and welcome my guest over first. I mean, didn't you see Scarecrow at Payback and Extreme Let's go to the earth. Seth Rollins. Quite the introduction. Yeah, nice decor. Did he just go on the scum of the earth? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, because I remember when he was so always used to call that. Uh, I yeah, yeah, I remember when he always used to, used to call him that. Yeah! Hey, Lord, and introducing now my brother, Roman Reigns. He said he's here to quote prove who the real world champion is. And to your point, John, that's what Seth's talking about. He had to vacate the title due to injury back in November. That's right. He is the winner champion. He never lost it. But Roman Reigns. I guess people are going to be like, he can't be coached on. Sure so the match, he's happy as a pedigree. And I think he's an upsetting way to win. 
Seth made the proclamation last good, November, too. right after he came out of surgery. He said, day one, I come back, I'm going to regain my championship. And of course, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns. Wow. Alright. You better believe it. Rollins returning with an ambush attack from behind on Roman Reigns after Reigns' last title defense. Reigns gets a chance to revenge Sunday only on the WWE Network. Uh, really interesting How does that too. Roman said my yeah. reign will not be and fulfilled not until I beat That's Seth all. Rollins at Money in the Bank. There's a chance for Seth to find. Yeah, I'm going for Seth. Obviously, people are booing Roman, plus, I'd probably pick Seth anyway. So. What is going to go down here? Because it's like. history between all three of these men. Love it, man. I'm kind of happy that Roman Reigns chose that and they made Roman Reigns keep the music for the shield. Look at Dan. Does your face hurt? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Because it's killing me! <laughs> <laughs> been a while since I've seen DNA, but that's pretty funny. Uh, Roman, what about you, brother? What's going on? How's the Big Easy treating you? It ain't gone, brother. Pretty good. It's like not even cool, like stop. Well, it was pretty good on Bourbon Street last night. So you having a good time? Having a good time in New Orleans. Like he's defeated Triple H. Having a good time? You up those nine Someone who's been in him, the WWE, like so much longer and been, been an good. incredible champion. Yeah, can't on, really do it. Puss. Don't be such a party pooper. We're having fun, man. It's a talk show. Relax. <laughs> But like I'm going to jump out of a big gift box and beat you up or anything, you know, chill out. Calm down. Give us a smile. Have some fun. I mean, we God, we haven't all been in the ring together like this in how long? I mean, we used to have so much fun in the ring, man. I, I like I swear to God, this is gonna be like an epic show. I don't think it is. <laughs> like it's gonna be not a resigning in the shield. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm not a party 
Cooper. All right, we did have some pretty good times. You don't got to do all that, but I mean, a actually, New Orleans, the Superdome, right across the street, WrestleMania a couple of years ago, right? Wasn't too bad. We took out those old fogies, the New Age Outlaws, and Kane. It was a pretty good time. I mean, and hey, what about London, right? The helicopter? We flew in, wrestled the Undertaker and Team Hell No. That was pretty awesome, right? Or hey, hey, Roman, who's? What about that sushi train in Japan, right? The little one with the conveyor belt that went around. We did it. You're right. We did have some good times. Or what about? Hey, uh, we found Ambrose unconscious by that dumpster. What, 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 what town were we in? Uh, Salt Lake. I don't know at all. No, it was Albuquerque. Yeah, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. It was Albuquerque. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Fine, fine. You're right, Dean. We did have some pretty good times together. It wasn't all bad. You know what? The best times that I ever had in this ring were with you guys. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Now, now, we won titles together, man. We traveled the world together. I mean, and the six-man tags are legendary. What about that one against the Wyatt family at Elimination Chamber, huh? Oh, yeah. Or the two we had against Evolution? Not too uh -oh. shabby. I mean, we, yeah. we sent Vic Batista packing. I mean... Come to think about it, Dave, he actually owes us a favor because now he's a big Hollywood star, right? That's what I keep saying. Look at them. Bootista. Hey, for real, though. For real. Bootista. The best time I ever had in a ring with you guys was when I took a chair and put it in your back. I knew it was going to go horrible. And look, Dean, I know you weren't there, but this was a big shield moment, too. How about a WrestleMania when I stole your moment, cashed in my Money in the Bank contract, and became the first member of the shield to hold that world heavyweight championship? I remember that. I was going to be kind of happy. Those are some good moments, right? There, fella. Let's not let's not have one of those kinds of shows. All right, let's get back on track. All right, I got business here. All right, let's talk about money in the bank this 